I still dating my spouse, um, followers, fans, friends. I am so excited to talk to you guys today because it has been a whirlwind week of premieres and um, just things in the news about marriages. And this week we've um, heard about a couple of celebrities that are filing for divorce due to irreconcilable differences. And, you know, you get to thinking about the celebrities and are, are they doing... You guys have to excuse. I'm outside, so I can't tell them not to fly. So sorry about that. But anyway... Uh, irreconcilable differences is has been a theme this week for many couples um, that are filing for divorce and we they're in the public eye so we all have our own personal opinion in regards to why should they um, have they tried it have they tried everything I am going to say this marriages have their differences it definitely does I really hope that those that file divorce for divorce and use that as a reason truly have exhausted every avenue and the Lord has told them that this is what they need to do. Um, Gina and Pat Neely uh, announced today that they are filing for divorce after 20 years and I am like 20 years and you're saying ir irreconcilable differences? Come on, man. 20 years? Tell that man to go on to the next room and you guys figure this out. But there's always two sides to every story. I am praying for every marriage. Every marriage I am praying for. Because God is not pleased with Satan is happy. He is the creator of divorces. He is screaming, happy, partying, or whatever you want to say when a marriage dissolves. So you guys, instead of us being judgmental in regards to these divorces and um, people, the celebrities that uh, jump into a marriage and get out of it with, you know, in a couple of days or a year or whatever, or just us people that's just like you and I, let's pray for them. Let's take this weekend and go into a corporate prayer just for marriages because God, we need you. We need you more now than ever because Satan knows he can't get anyone else. He can definitely infiltrate the marriages because marriages are ordained by God and they are the nucleus of, of a community and, and definitely of the family. So, you guys, pray for all marriages. Pray for the Neelys. Pray for Amber Rose. And um, just pray for every marriage. Pray for the marriage of your friend. You may not even know what's going on, but just pray for them anyway. Pray for my marriage. I'm going to pray for you guys. Pray for everyone because Satan is busy. And if we are seeing divorces after divorces after divorces, Come on now. Something's got to give. We have got to fill this gap and help these couples that are having these problems. So, I thank you guys. Leave me some comments about this. What do you think about this uh, uh, irreconcilable differences that people are using for divorces? Uh, leave me some comments. Follow me on Twitter at Data My Spouse. Subscribe to this channel. We, I see. I gotta get busy again. I gotta, I gotta get out here and give you guys some, some encouragement. So I am coming back. The husband is going to be on here more too. I just thank you guys for following us, supporting us, and giving us your attention and allow us to come into your home. But hey, we're going into a corporate prayer this weekend. Let's pray for these marriages.